the gateway to Gaeldorf, one of the finest motocross circuits in the world and the setting for the 1985 Motocross de Nations. Teams from 21 countries as far apart as Norway in the north and Australia in the south, from the USA in the west and Czechoslovakia in the east, are united for a weekend in their passion for the sport and their desire to be champions of the world. This year, the title's more important than ever. In the past, the World Team Championships have been decided over three different events, in three different countries, producing three different champions. Now there's a new format. For the first time, 125cc riders will be racing on the same track at the same time as both 250 and 500 racers, and there'll be just one winning team. No one knew exactly how the new system would work out how the smaller bikes would cope with the awesome power of the 500s. But any doubts were soon dispelled in the early practice sessions, which produced a body blow for Britain, but underlined the USA's status as favourites. After practice was over, we spoke to America's 125 representative, Ron Lachine. It's going real well, huh? We just got back from practice, and uh, I have seven fastest time. Feel real good out there. I'm riding 125 against some 500 and 250s, and... Uh, a little low on horsepower, but I think I'll do well against the other 125s. How's this Gaeldorf track suited to racing a 125? Well, it's pretty fast. I think uh, I think with a little more horsepower, it'd be a little better. The 500 and 250s, uh, it's a lot of straightaways you get into the top gears, and uh, uh, 125 goes pretty pretty good. Some tight stuff. I think the bike works a little better than maybe the big bikes, but there's uh, just can't match them going down those big long straightaways. Yeah. And what do you think the chances are of the American team? I think it's real good. Uh, we have the first, second, and uh, seventh fastest time, and uh, uh, I'm sure if there's no problems, we'll take the win. Everybody drafted into the team at the last minute. How are things going so far? You know, I, I wanted to come here in the first place, and uh, Brock was pretty much doing better than I was in the States, and at the time they made up their minds who they wanted to bring, and then he got hurt, and, once I found out, it was pretty much of a surprise, you know, but I, I've actually been here for a few days now, and I'm recouped to the time uh, where in 1982 I wasn't, and uh, race day I was pretty tired, you know, I, Roger was running around going, well, take this, maybe you can stay awake, but uh, <laughs> everything feels really good, I like, you know, the, it's, the bike I'm riding is, uh, is my own, where last time it wasn't, and uh, I guess my lap times so far in practice are right up to par with everyone else's, and maybe the fastest from what I heard, and uh, I'm real comfortable so far, so just have to see what happens. Uh, this format is a lot different. It's going to be real interesting to see what happens. Gonna, my main concern is probably since I'm on the 500, I'll be in the back row a couple of times. And with that many riders going off the line at the same time, I wouldn't expect myself to be in the top 10 on the first lap unless I did some pretty, uh, pretty big cheating on the back section and I'll cut the course. But I think just get enough points so we have a solid foundation. And if anybody has a bad moto, then they can rely on my finish, you know, even if it's nothing great, just a sixth or a seventh, if I could get up, you know, that far. But yeah, I would like to win it. I'm sure Ronnie and Jeff would also. But the main thing is just earn points and uh, be real consistent through all those races and not fall down and, and uh, break the bike or anything. So Jeff Ward, fastest in practice. Obviously, this Goldorf track's fairly to your liking. Yeah, it's uh, really fast and our bikes run really well, so um, there's some pretty good lines out there that I have down, so everything's running run really well right now. Is there a particular advantage here on a 250, or do you think you're at a disadvantage? So far it seems to be pretty good. I got fast lap time, but uh, start is going to be pretty important. It's really long, and the 500, I think, will probably be up front, and uh, I think through some of the tight corners and probably catch them, it's going to be really difficult to get them on the uphill straightaways, and there's going to be a lot of a lot of roost from the bikes getting thrown, so you're not going to be able to follow them on the best line. So it's going to be a really interesting race. What are the team tactics going to be? Uh, well, our team's just going to try to do the best that they can and just kind of individual as it starts off, and then uh, we'll settle down and see where we're at and then see what kind of team effort we got to do. But basically, we're just going to go out there and race 100% as ourselves, and that usually will you know, give us the championship. And what do you think of your chances? Uh, very good. I think uh, the only thing that would stop us from winning would be having two of our bikes break or one of the ride, two of the riders getting hurt and one of the motos not being able to ride and uh, something really tragic probably. But other than that, all of us are riding really well, so I don't see any uh, problems. And individually, you think it's possible to, to win races on the 250? Yeah, I think I could, uh, depending on my start, I need to get a good start, but uh, 
one of us is going to have to start in the back row with 62 riders, and it's going to be a lot of work to get up front. So definitely, we, you know, I, I think I know I can win the motor. I'm running the fastest, so as I got to be is up front, and I can do that. But for mid-pack, it's going to be tough. I'll just salvage what I can and, you know, win the 250 class and get the one point that we need. The rolling German pastures of Gaeldorf, venue for the 1985 motocross the nations. These world team championships have been dominated for the last four years by the USA. But this time, the British team, led by world champion Dave Thorpe, had high hopes of toppling the Americans from their pedestal. Unfortunately, those hopes were dashed within two laps of the first practice session when Kurt Nickel crashed, breaking his thigh. So, with the British team down to just two men, all eyes will be on the Americans as they bid for win number five. All the pomp and pageantry of a top sporting event. The local lovelies and flags of all nations being shot into the air out of a camp. Crowds line the track for the presentation. There, the favourites, America, David Bailey, Ron Lachine and Jeff Ward. The British contingent, Rob Andrews and World 500 champion, David Thorpe. The Dutch there, led by Kees van der Ven. And the Austrians, with their world champion, Heinz Kinney Gadner. As the local team, the favourites of Germany and World 125 champion, Pekka Vekkonen from Finland. Moments anticipation as they wait for the riders to come out to start the first race. As the first drops of rain start to fall, and there's David Bailey, America's number one, who comes out to line up on that start gate. Starting, starting positions decided by ballot, but each of the 21 nations getting a fair crack of the whip. Evenly distributed along the start gate, which will be falling in a few moments' time to start the 1985 Motocross the Nations. A lot hinges on this race. Many people have said that the format won't work, but these men are out to prove it will. Last minute adjustments there to the chess guard of David Bailey, who's become pretty much a European favorite since he first came over here three years ago at this very track. Clearing out the engine, make sure there's no last minute fluffs when that gate drops. All these riders have a routine they go through. There's Britain's Rob Andrews looking at the start gate as they prepare for the start. Down it goes and the whole field cleanly away, putting on the power. It's so important that first corner and into the first turn is David Thorpe in second place. Case van der Ven is third and Rob Andrews three quarters of the way back and there's a pile up there. Number three, that's the American Ron Lachine on the 125 Honda as they blast up the hill for the first time. 30 minutes plus two laps lie ahead of them and it's David Thorpe in the lead. Bailey. Bailey's tags of his camel bib flowing in the wind behind him. Third is Van der Ven and in fourth place that's Jeff Ward on the 250 Kawasaki. Thorpe followed by Bailey. Ward in third spot and there's a faller there. Someone's bitten the dust and staggering about very groggily indeed. 12, that's the Dutchman Davy Strybos, so very nearly World 125 champion this year. But Thorpe in a commanding lead already, showing the style which has taken him to his first World 500cc championship. Superb action on this natural German grassy track, very much like the tracks we have in England, which is why it's obviously suiting Dave Thorpe so much. That's Strybos on the Honda. And there's Ron Lachine fighting back through the field after that first corner tumble, which cost him dear. 
Dave Thorpe leads David Bailey, and that's Jeff Ward in third place on the Kawasaki. And on another Kawasaki, local lad Roland Depol. That's Pekka Vekkonen from Finland on the Kajima. the battle for the lead again and Bailey's in the lead it's Bailey from Thorpe with Jeff Ward on the Kawasaki still hanging on in third place Jeff Ward managing to keep on terms with these two 60 brake horsepower 500s and Ward takes second Ward up into second place as number 17 Anders Ericsson from Sweden sweeps past Trevor Williams from Australia, Australia for the first time in the competition this year. And Davy Strybos from Holland, a massive leap there from this talented youngster. But in the lead, it's David Bailey from Jeff Ward and David Thorpe. Three great rivals, these. That's Heinz Kinnig Adner, 250 world champion, and Roland Diepold once more. 15 is Pekka Vekkonen from Finland. Dutchman there side by side as Ron Lachine continues to fight his way back through the field. He had a disastrous first lap, you remember, down in 30th place at the end of it. As David Bailey once more into the lead and Thorpe's recaptured his second position. 55, that's Jackie Vimor from France on his Yamaha, famous for his pink pants. Pink Panther, they call him. trace of pink on this man, David Bailey. Superb style there from this all-action American. 24 years old and been a champion for most of those years. Now this is the critical time in the race as the fast men come through to lap some of the back markers. As Bailey and Thorpe get through cleanly. Beckenham, world 125 champion. He took that title this year by beating Dave Strybos, but not with one wheel landings like that. That's Dave Strybos there and his Dutch teammate Gert Jan van Dorn. That's Williams from Australia and Jukka Sintonen from Finland, followed by Lacker from Germany. 56 is Olivier Perriand from France. As Ron Lachine keeps on fighting, he won't give up until that chequered flag comes out. And there's the battle for the lead, and it's Dave Thorpe back in front once more. Back in the driving seat for the British team captain, Dave Thorpe. He knows he's got his work cut out for the British team to stand any chance at all. too that in the final reckoning if Britain aren't up there it won't be through any lack of effort on his part that's fourth man Case van der Ven and Heinz Kinnigadner in fifth place the world 250 champion just look at that style there from Lachine a natural racer out of the American school of stadium cross as Thorpe resplendent in his world champions gold pants continues to lead that's Rob Andrews Britain's number two he was way down the field to start with, but he won't give up, that's for sure. With only two men, Britain needs every score to count. Both men have to finish all three races. Trevor Williams from Australia and Ron Lachine. As Dave Thorpe wends his way ever onwards towards that chequered flag. Jeff Ward now, challenging hard, and Bailey back in third spot as they cross the jump which marks the finish line here at Galeworth. Rob Andrews, and he's being pressed extremely hard there by Jackie Martins, talented Belgian on the KTM. Thorpe on his immaculate works Honda state-of-the-art motocross machine from Bailey in second place. He's now pulled out a bit of a lead and Case van der Ven is third and Jeff Ward's in trouble. 
Ward now back down to fifth place. As Ron Machine holds ninth spot, a remarkable achievement considering that first bend fall, which put him back in 30th. Place, it's Case van der Ven. And that's Jeff Ward. Number five, Jackie Martins. On the KTM from France. Just look at this, a study in style, the different ways of taking that jump. That's Dave Strybos, one of the most exciting prospects to come out of Holland in recent years. They've been in the doldrums of motocross a little bit. And Lachine has taken Williams, he's got by the Australian and continues his progress through the field. The thought there's no more progress to be had. He's out in front, he's in the driving seat and he's not going to let a lead like that slip away. Thorpe, been racing now for 16 years, knows every trick in the book and he's afraid of nobody. That's World 250 champion Heinz Kinnigardner and Ward. Ward back now into fifth spot, ahead of Jackie Martins. Pace van der Ven, feet off the footrests, super plain to the crowd style. Jeff Ward, wiry little chap. As an expatriate Scotsman settled in America and Ward's now America's 250 champion. 15 on the Kajiva, that's Pekka World 125 champion in rather surprising circumstances this year. But there's the 125 man they all want to beat, Ron Lachine. He said beforehand he thought he could win the race here today. There's the man that's out to stop him, and everybody else, Dave Thorpe. And his namesake, David Bailey. David Bailey's father was one of the pioneers of American motocross, and still involved heavily in the sport. They call him the professor because he runs so many schools. That's Jackie, that's Jackie Vimon, number 55 from France on the Yamaha. Taking the wrong line round that bend. Beaumont obviously getting tired after 30 minutes on this gruelling West German track. And the, che the chequered flag being made ready, and Dave Thorpe takes the chequered flag to win the first leg of the motocross donations for Britain. So, the 500cc results. First, David Thorpe from Britain. Second, America's David Bailey. Third, Case van der Ven from Holland. With Heinz Kinnigadner fourth from Austria. Jackie Viemont fifth. And Frandisek Soldat from Czechoslovakia in sixth position. In the 250 class, it's America's Jeff Ward first, Jackie Martins of Belgium second, Roland Diepold of Germany third, fourth is Michele Rinaldi of Italy, fifth Anders Ericsson of Sweden, and sixth Gert Jan van Dorn of Holland. Pekka Vekkonen from Finland is the 125cc class winner, followed by Davy Strybos from Holland, Ron Lachine from America, Peter Kovar of Czechoslovakia, Dietmar Lacker from Germany, and Glenn Bell of Australia. So with one third of the proceedings over, the USA already had a commanding lead with six points from a first, a second and a third place in the three classes. But there was little time to reflect on that as they lined up for race number two. Into the first bend and it's Case van der Ven who gets a flying start from the outside there. And once again, Ron Lachine finding the lack of power down that start straight a definite disadvantage and it's the same story again David Bailey leads David Thorpe and not such a good start there for Jeff Ward who had a terrible start on his Kawasaki high speed traffic jam there as they go through this first series of bends and that's the Portuguese rider Carlos Carriera there having a bit of a problem with his Kajiva 
56 is Olivier Perriand having trouble too and that's Glenn Bell on the 125 Yamaha the Australian rider he's in trouble early on as well but these two aren't in trouble as David Thorpe leads David Bailey from Case van der Ven and world 250 champion Heinz Kinnigadner on the KTM Jackie Vimor in sixth place followed by Jeff Ward who's obviously recovered from that poor start Super study in style there as they crest that rise. Back end swapping there, David Thorpe hangs on to his lead. But I think he could have problems in this race from the chasing trio behind him. Ron Lachine, number three. And Dave Thorpe out in front. That's Jackie Vimon on the Yamaha. And 31 is Trevor Williams from Australia. Ron Machine battling hard, but out in front it's David Thorpe. David Bailey in second spot and Case van der Ven pressing really hard. So it's Thorpe, Bailey, van der Ven, Kinney Gardner, and that's Italian Michele Magarotto on the Kawasaki. And another Kawasaki man there, Jeff Ward, behind Jackie Vimon from France. Davy Strybos. 14 there, Kurt Lundqvist from Finland. As Dave Thorpe holds on to his slender lead, is Case van der Ven up into second spot. Nobody really expected this sort of form from van der Ven, who's been racing 1 to 5 KTMs all year. And he's something of a sand specialist, really, like many of his uh, compatriots in Holland. From Bailey and Kevin de Ven back now into third spot again. This is a terrific race at the front. It's Gert Jan van Doorn on the 250 Honda. The Dutch perhaps the surprises of this competition. And that's Davy Strybos, their 125 man, only 17 years old. And there's Rob Andrews, a gutsy ride from the British 125 contender. Not used to riding a 125. And there's Dave Thorpe in the lead, followed by Van der Ven, and Kinney Gardner's up into third spot. Obviously, Bailey hit some trouble, perhaps just unable to stand the pace at the front. Strybos once more, Jackie Vimor, and Ronnie Lachine. Superb stadium specialist in the States, but seemingly just at home on these natural tracks. That's Thorpe. Van der Ven and Bailey back up into third place. He's retaken Kinney Gardner and Jeff Ward's pressing Kinney Gardner really hard. He's going to make it. That's Gert Jan van Dorn from Holland, the 250 contender of that team. And there's Pekka Vekkonen and Davy Strybos, the World 125 Championship battle all over again. Ronnie Lachine of the States chases Belgian Jackie Martins. They're battling for sixth spot. But out of the front, there's David Bailey trying to get back on terms with the leaders. David Thorpe out in front, the most difficult thing to do. Leader race from the front. And Jeff Ward in fourth place. Still battling to keep on terms. Michele Magorotto, the magic written on the back of his pants. And on some tracks he is as the leading three keep up their battle for supremacy. And Van der Ven makes his move, but he's shut out at the moment. He's trying again. No. Thorpe still leads. Van der Ven still in second place. Gertjan van Dorn from Holland. And Dave Strybos. Followed by Ron Lachine. And at the front, Dave Thorpe and Case van der Ven. Very much a two-horse race now. Thorpe will be going for a trio of wins here. He said all he can do is go out and try and win every race. Crowned 500cc world champion just two weeks before this race. And look at that closeness of that battle, Dave Thorpe and Case van der Ven. 
side by side as they fight to the finish. Look at that action, superb. Leaning on each other, neither giving any quarter. Bailey third. And Jeff Ward now up into fourth place. He's relegated Kinnegarten. Van der Ven. Bailey. Just sneaking past that back marker. Through the avenues of trees here in Germany. Ronnie Lachine bettering a back marker. He doesn't want to get held up as he charges through the field. A difficult task on a 125 on a circuit as fast as this one. Dave Thorpe still leads, Case van der Ven still second. And David Bailey still clinging on to that third spot, but being pressed hard by Jeff Ward, his teammate but Kawasaki rival. That's Thorpe, that's Case van der Ven and Bailey, followed by Ward. Gert-Jan van Doorn and Davy Strybos, his teammate there. Ron Lachine and back to the leader, David Thorpe. One of the best motocrossers Britain's ever produced, leading one of the best ever produced in Holland. glances over his shoulder to see what's happening behind him. What's happening is Davy Strybus is threatening him hard. Two one two fives there fighting it out. It'll be a fight to the finish for them. The Americans always want to beat the established Grand Prix stars. That's why they're all out to beat that man, David Thorpe, who seems to have opened out a bit of an advantage now over Case van der Ven. David Bailey still in third place, and Jeff Ward fourth on the Kawasaki. Ronnie Lachine up now into fifth place, and Davy Strybos in sixth. each other, the two one two five men, Ronnie Lachine and Davy Strybos. Davy Strybos now tells everybody he wants to be known as Dave because he's grown up, he's 18 now, getting to be quite an old timer. Van der Ven in second spot, still trying to keep on terms with Dave Thorpe. Now's the critical time of the race. Dave Thorpe will be getting tired.